welcome back to my channel. It's a very, very quick haul video this week. Um, you will see this on Monday, the 11th of October, I think you'll see this. I'm recording it on Tuesday, the 28th of September, but um, it's just a very quick charity shop haul. I spent the day sourcing in Newport with Lex and Josh and Kath Palmer. Lovely Kath Palmer was down from Carlisle, up the top where she lives, up as north as you can get before you fall into Scotland. Um, she was down here on a on a bit of a reseller road trip, going to a dog thing and seeing friends. And so we met up with her today in Newport. And oh my God, Newport charity shop prices. Yes, please. I was literally spent the entire day going, oh, oh, oh. and Josh, Josh, happy as a pig in the proverbial. Because, you know, Josh doesn't like to spend his money very much. So I thought I would do a very quick haul and show you what I got. And that means that there'll be a video to come out while I'm away on holiday, because otherwise there wouldn't have been. Excuse the hair, got caught in the rain. We didn't get the weather. The Welsh did not lay on sunny weather for us today. It belted down most of the day. We missed the worst bit. We were in the lounge, the Grupo lounge or whatever kind of lounge, you know, you know that chain of lounges. We were in there having lunch when the worst of the rain happened. So we missed that bit. But it did, um, it did do its best to drown us in Newport. And they have really slippery pavements. Anyway, thought I'd show you what I got because I got some really, really nice bits today. These, though, not in Newport. I popped in the Salvation Army up the road before I went because I had to go to the bank and it's just by the bank. And saw these. There's three bags. They were £4 a bag. And they are reusable nappies. And if you have not picked these up to resell, you might be thinking, oh, weird. But they sell really, really well. I've done really well in the past with reusable nappies. There are some brands that are more desirable than others. And this is not a brand that I've heard of. This is called Happy Heinies. Our Salvation Army does sell a lot of ex little stuff, but these are not, doesn't, don't say packed for Lidl's on anything. So they've got the, I don't, I've, I never used reusables, but they've got the terry cloth inner pads. And there are three of those, bizarrely, in different sizes in that pack. And then the nappies. Oh, that one's got, a, that one's got an inner in there. So that bit kind of sits inside. There's like a pocket if you use reusables, then you know what I'm talking about. There's kind of a pocket in there and the inner bit sits in there. So just the outer bits are the bit that usually resell really well. I, th I think probably people don't resell the inners as much because those are the bits that get soiled. But the outers tend not to so much. So I've, I've got one, two, three. And there's four inners and two outers for that pack, but that bag. And I don't know if the other bags are all the same. And I have an, an idea of how much I can get for them because it's a brand that I haven't come across before. But as I said, I've done very, very well with reusables in the past. This one's got two outers and four inners again. I should imagine all three bags are the same. Yeah, I think all, all the bags have the same contents, two outers and four inners. So £12 for the lot. Hopefully there should be a return on those. I'll get the 12 back regardless, but hopefully there should be a profit in those. That was in the Salvation Army before we went off to Newport. And then off we went. And I think, I don't think I can get it in the right order of shops that I bought it in, but I'm fairly sure this was quite early on. This is a vintage Teddy Beddy Bear. It cost me one pound. It's made by Telly Toy, which is in Leicester, which is where I'm from originally. There is no, uh, it says copyright Morgan Inc on the back, but there's no, um, no year on there for the copyright. But I just figured, look at that. That is an old piece of kit, isn't it? That's an old toy in its original box. There's some damage to the box, there's some wear, but for a pound, it's gotta be more than a quid in that, surely. And I think, yeah, definitely in the same shop, I got a Word of David Williams CD story collection. I've already got one in stock. It's up there on the shelf behind, which means it's an easy relist. I, all I need to do is go through and make sure that all the discs are there and then it should be just to add add quantity one to my already listed one because it's in excellent condition same as the one that I've got so that was definitely worth three pound that's the kind of thing that I expect to be able to sell more in Q4 in the run-up to Christmas rather than just all year round I expect that to sell better then in my bit of newspaper is a mug and it's kind of Art Deco in style. There's definitely an Art Deco lady on the front there. The brand is uh, Cath it's Cathedral Fine Bone China and the mug is called Charleston, which again, very, very 30s. No idea of any value on that one. No idea whatsoever, but liked it. And it was a quid, I believe. 
I'm sure it was a pound. I had a price sticker on it when I picked it up. Oh, it's inside. There you go. Price sticker inside, one pound. And of course, I need more mugs. In the Sense shop, now we don't have Sense, that must be a Welsh charity because unless it's elsewhere in England and I just don't know about it, we certainly don't, it's not something we have in Bristol I don't think, Sense. Um, they had some really nice brands and their prices weren't bad, so for example, this is a sea salt dress. Now a sea salt dress in a charity shop in Bristol would normally set you back 8 or 9 at best and 12 to 15 at worst. This one is called Overprinting. And this one in the Sense charity shop in Newport was £4.50. So, again, really, really pleased with that price. You're going to hear me say really, really pleased a lot as I go through. And I've noticed that in my pickups videos, I say really, really pleased all the time. So if you're interested in getting absolutely bladdered, take a shot every time you hear me say really pleased with that one. <laughs> Get your glass ready. LK Bennett. Now, an LK Bennett dress, this is a kind of a tweed effect. Made for LK Bennett, specialist dry clean only. An LK Bennett dress, it's a 16, which is a nice size. In a charity shop in Bristol, you would be looking minimum 12, possibly up as far as 20. And in Newport, they asked me for six, and I gave them six with a smile on my face and a dance in my feet. Same shop, this scent shop, it was honestly, it was a real treasure trope, treasure, treasure trope, treasure trope, treasure trope. It was a real treasure trove for labels. Here's one I don't find very often. Peruvian Connection in a large. Six pounds again. That would have cost me 20 in a Bristol charity shop. It's got a ruched area around the tummy. Really nice jersey dress. Six quid. Very, very pleased with that one. I'm going to stop saying very, very pleased. Or at least I'm going to try to. Same shop. Here's a brand I have never seen, but I mean, I've seen other people picking it up, but I've never picked it up before. I've seen people like um, Sarah Resells, I think, and um, other people on Instagram, Fake Rachel, picking this up. It's a brand called Never Fully Dressed. It says established 2009, I think it says on the label. And it's a white, very, very long dress. I don't know if it's for tall people or just a long dress, complete with belt. Whether or not the price is good on that, I paid five and I was quite happy to pay five because it was a brand that I'd seen others pick up. I'm assuming that's okay. But as I said, it's not a brand that I've sold myself, so I haven't got any real personal knowledge on that. Sometimes you just have to trust what other people are doing. I think this is the last one from that shop here, yeah, the last one from Sense. Six pounds again for a Bowden pea green velvet coat with the brown circle lining. I've sold this coat before. I can't recall whether it was in this colour. I know I've definitely sold one in purple. I think I might have had this colour before. Six pounds for that. That coat would easily have cost me twenty pounds in a Bristol charity shop, maybe more. Six quid for that. I should be able to get forty to fifty. See, so yeah, I was very, very pleased with that particular shop. I was walking around with my arm load. I didn't even go through all the clothes because I'd already thought I was like, I've already spent like you know twenty five quid. I better stop. As you know, I don't really need clothing stock, but those brands at those prices, I'm not going to leave those behind. Some of it's still wet. We got very, very wet today, so some of my finds are still actually damp where the shopping got wet. This is Hobbs, and this was in the scope. And the one thing you absolutely don't get in Bristol is Hobbs for a pound. Little Hobbs A-line dress. It's a winter weight kind of wool material with a satin trim. Let's have a look at the care label. Dry clean only. Out of 100% wool, trim 100% silk. So yeah, lovely dress. Hobbs for a pound. That does not happen to me very often. This one was a pound. I know this one's a pound. I think that one. This is, again with that scope shop, and this was originally priced at four. It would have been a good price at four, but it was reduced to a pound on their sale rail. Lindy Bop. Lindy Bop polka dot dress. The only issue with this is that I think it would have had a belt. Yeah, it's got belt loops, but no belt. Not the end of the world for a Lindy Bop dress for a quid. I don't often buy Lindy Bop anymore. It's uh, it's not as popular as I think the actual company went bust, and I don't think they make it anymore. And it's gradually losing its popularity. But for a pound, there's going to be money in that. There's going to be profit in there. And I think this one was a pound as well in the same shop. This is the one that I am... Um, 
Oh, 150. No, 150 in St. David's Hospice. I definitely bought three things in that pound shop. There it is. There's, this is the other pound one from the scope, and it's Bowden. Bowden lightweight jersey dress. Again, nice for the winter. Bowden for a quid. This is the one that I'm hoping one of you guys will know the label. I paid £1.50. And it was one of those ones where you look at the label and you think that's annoying me because I feel like I should know it. So it's R and R. I've tried to do a Google image search on the label and come up with nothing. The only R and R I can think of is Rock and Republic, but I can't find anything. I know they make jeans, but I can't find that they make dresses at all. So if anybody knows different, I'd love to be corrected. It's kind of a blouse top with a jersey skirt. I only paid one pound fifty for it. But I'd love to know more about that label if anybody out there knows what I've got there. These are for me. Kath spotted these and um, pointed them out to me. They are a brand called Down to Earth. Apparently, I had a quick look on eBay and they retail new for about 20 quid. So they're not a massive, a massive find, but a nice pair of shoes for me for three quid. Tried them on. They fit nicely. So those are for me. This was an unusual one. I saw these as we were leaving the uh, St. David's shop. I saw these and thought... There's a label I don't recognise, and it's Lourdes Bergardo. Lourdes Bergardo. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing it. I'll show you the label. It's a Spanish brand. When I looked it up, they are similar to Oscar, and my balloon trousers should be a safe 50 quid out of a pound. So yay for that. So that's a brand that's worth looking out for if you see it. Lourdes Lourdes Bagarda. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Spanish people might know. In the St. David's Hospice, £2 got me this East dress. I'm nearly finished. East dress for two quid. It's only a cotton dress, and yes, it's summer, and yes, it's not really the season for it, but I don't often see East at those prices. I think I was a bit punch drunk at this point with the prices that I was getting. In the Bernardo's, we found a Bernardo's on our way back to the car, which we didn't know was there, a little down a little side street, and all the dresses were buy one, get one free. So I got a Hobbs, Hobbs jersey dress, that, like I said, that's wet because it was in the top of the bag. Hobbs jersey dress for £3 and then because they were buy one get one free, I got this one which means the two of them cost me £1.50 each and this is just a new look curve. Now I wouldn't normally buy new look curve, I tried it on myself, it's okay, I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's, it's not the best shape for me. But it will surely sell for more than £1.50, which is what it cost me. And then the last one, this is the one that I think I'm most pleased about, apart from perhaps those Lourdes trousers, which I was quite pleased when I discovered. This is Ingenue London. I've only ever found it once before, and I've certainly never found it before for a pound. One pound for an Ingenue dress. It's strange because these are a very popular brand. They sell very well, they're expensive, and yet they feel really cheap. <laughs> That's it. That is my Newport charity shop haul. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. As always, if there's anything in this video that's caught your eye, you can email me on the email address that is underneath this video and um, I'll sort you out with that. Although if you email me while I'm away, there'll be a delay. And I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now.